Activision, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Sony, and everyone's last company that is watching this video, the following applies to you. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allows is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Non-profit, educational, or personal use keeps the balance in favor of fair use. Hi guys, this is User Mods, and welcome to another episode of my custom firmware tutorial series. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get online on 4.46 rebug. Uh, this is going to work for both uh, Kex and D-Rex and it's going to be for the uh, 4.60 um, update. So, um, so uh, please note that this is only going to work if you want to go on 4.60 and not for any other um, custom firmware version. So, uh, not for any other version, sorry. So first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna plug your USB into your PC Then you're gonna go to the root of your USB Like this and then you're gonna download this uh, spoofer I will provide link for this file in the video description. So just download it and put it on your um, Put it on your USB Copy and paste it on the root of it like this and one once you're done what you're gonna do is you're gonna eject your um, your USB safely from your computer, eject my storage device which is my USB and once you do that you're set to go and you're gonna go on your PS3 to um to reback toolbox so I'll see you guys in a second on my PS3 as you can see guys I'm now back on my uh, PS3 and what we're going to do now is we're going to open Rebug Toolbox. So go ahead, make sure you are on Rebug 4.46. Uh, go in Game, then Rebug Toolbox, Launch. And once Rebug Toolbox is opened, what you're going to do is um, you're going to go on, um, on Selector. Then where it says System Mode, you're going to change that from Rebug to Normal. Uh, if it's already on normal, make sure uh, you don't change it. Uh, it must be on normal or else this spoof is not going to work. So make sure your system mode is set to normal. It should say normal mode is now active. Rebug 4.30.1 or higher has been detected. System will uh, reboot uh, immediately. So press OK. Your PS3 should reboot itself. And once it's back on, I'm gonna tell you then what you're gonna have to do. So bear with me until my PS3 is back on. Alright guys, as you can see I'm now back on my PS3 and it's um, it's back on. What you're gonna have to do now uh, is you're gonna go you're gonna have to plug your USB into your PS3 the USB you used before to uh, for the uh, spoofer so what you're gonna do is plug it on your U on your PS3 go on uh, game package manager then go on install package files and then go on standard package location open that and there should be the, um, the spoofer so what you're gonna do is you're gonna install it and once it's done uh, you're gonna see it right there, spoof 4.60, kex last dex by uh, hydrum. So you're gonna, it says rebug 4.46.1 only, so make sure you're on the right custom firmware. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open that, run it. And it should say, uh, it, should, it should have some kind of a user agreement. Updater will perform the following task install 4.60 version spoof files with PSN support press yes and Then it should say um, Update complete system will reboot hide 4.60 spoof package is now safe to be de deleted from your PlayStation 3 so press back circle and Then your PS3 should reboot itself again. So bear with me until it's back on As you can see guys, PS3 is back online, nothing seems to be uh, changed, nothing is changed actually. So once you're back, what you're gonna do, you don't need the uh, spoof anymore. So 
uh, press triangle on that and delete it from your PS3. Then you're gonna go back on your uh, Reback Toolbox, so open again, open Reback Toolbox again. And then once you're back on your Reback Toolbox, you're gonna go again on Selector, then you're gonna change the uh, system mode from Normal to uh, Rebug. Then your PS3 should re reboot itself again, so wait until it until it's back uh, on as you can see we are back on our PS3 and before we sign in I'm gonna show you that we are on uh, 4.46 um rebug spoofed to uh, 4.60 so we're gonna go on um, on settings then system settings and then we're gonna go to uh, system information and as you can see it says system software version 4.60 so we are on uh, 4.46 rebug spoofed to 4.60 and now you can you can safely sign in and play online um, if you're gonna prevent yourself getting banned you're gonna have to use the exact same apps just like PS Ninja and uh, PS and Pads and and etc so um, from my part you can just uh, my part is done now you can you can sign in as you can see I'm gonna sign in so you see um, Yep, that's probably because I have a banned um, console ID. So yeah, this uh, that's fine. Uh, you're gonna be able to sign in as far as you do uh, everything just like I did. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please I would I would be uh, I'm begging you to leave them in the uh, section below. Uh, thanks a lot for your feedback on my Kex to Dex tutorial and more uh, custom firmware episodes are coming soon so thanks a lot for watching and i will see you guys in my next